Hi, today's problem is assuming complete dominance, what is the phenotypic ratio of the offspring of the cross one uh, heterozygous for both alleles parent with another parent that is homozygous recessive for the both alleles. And here is the answer that you may choose from. And if you feel that you know how to solve this problem, you can stop video here. Uh, try to solve this problem on your own and later when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And today I am going to use Forklein method in order to solve this problem but I am also going to use uh, Punnett square method also so you would know where all the numbers come from. And as you see the parent one is heterozygous for the allele A so one allele is capital another one is small. And let's assume that this stands for the red color, so it would be easier for us to solve this problem if we visualize this problem. And this uh, homozygous recessive plant for the allele A would mean uh, white color. So let's now build a Punnett square. So we would have one parent on top, that is capital A, small a, another one on the side. So when we cross these two allelic pairs, we are going to get um, genotypes as follows, capital A, small a, small a, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. And once again, this parent is going to be, uh, going to have uh, red colored uh, flowers. And this one on the side going to have uh, white colored uh, flowers. And as you see, the progeny, 50% would also have red colored um, flowers. And 50% would have uh, white colored flowers. And let's now consider the second pairs of uh, alleles. And this is going to be for one parent uh, heterozygous capital B, small b, and another one would be homozygous uh, recessive for both alleles. So uh, we can build Punnett square, this is going to be absolutely the same. So we can say, for example, that uh, this heterozygous would stand for the tall plant, and this homozygous um, recessive would stand for the small plant. So once again, when we build the Punnett square, so capital B, small b on top, and small b, small b on the side. So on the top, we would have a parent who is going to be tall. And on this side, the parent who is going to be uh, small. So once again, here we would have capital B, small b small b, small b here, capital B, small b here, and small b, small b here. So, um, for example, if this is going to be tall plant, so 50% also going to be tall of the progeny, and if this is going to be a small plant, so 50% also going to be small plants. So, uh, when we build a fork line uh, structure, we would start with our first uh, allelic frequency that we got. So, we would have one half that is going to be um, capital A, small a, and one half that is going to be small a, small a. So, this is going to be red color and this one going to be white colored plant and uh, once again we build forks and here we would have uh, one half tall plants that is going to be capital B small b and one half uh, small plants that is going to be small b, small b, and here once again uh, tall plant, capital B, small b, and small plant, small b, small b. 
and the result would be here. Uh, so here would be we have to multiply this one half by this one half. So answer would be one quarter that is going to be capital A and small a and capital B and small b. And here result of the cross would be we have to multiply this one half by this one half. So once again one quarter that is going to be capital A small a and small b small b. Here we have to multiply this one half by this one half and we are going to get here one quarter that is going to be small a small a and capital B small b. Here one half we multiply with this one half and the answer going to be one quarter that is going to be small a small a and small b small b. So let's now um, for better um, understanding circle with colors so uh, this uh, genotype stand for the red color so we will have we would have uh, this uh, plant that is going to be uh, red flowered this one also would be red flowered and this one here would be white flowered and this one here would be also white flowered let's now move to the uh, whether it's going to be tall or short and here um, heterozygous for capital B and small b would be uh, tall so we would um, also use red color to designate tall so this is uh, going to be tall and this is also going to be tall and this too going to be um, small size uh, so small size here and small size here so as you see we have uh, all four different phenotypes so the ratio would be 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 because as you see here we have 1 fourth 1 fourth 1 fourth 1 fourth so the correct answer would be C so now I hope you would be able to solve such problems very easily thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video goodbye